What's up allies, welcome to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be showcasing AMD frame generation running on four games in the RG Ally. We're gonna give you guys a look because I think personally, this is a game changer. And with this video, hopefully you guys can see what I'm seeing with the FPS boost that you do get with this. So I know this is not official by Asus and the RG team, but we know that this one is eventually gonna come from them. And this is just a preview of what you can expect when this does become officially available so we're going to give you guys our settings and at the top right you should be able to see the fps gains that you'll get with this so if there's something you guys are interested in, make sure you hit the like button subscribe to the channel let's get right into this video so the first game that we're showing off here is god of war and we have this one at 720p and we have it at original which is equivalent to medium settings and you'll see here throughout this gameplay we're getting 80 fps throughout and guys, I have to say this runs really smooth as well as you've seen with the gameplay. There's hardly any ghost in, there's hardly any tear. This is just as smooth as butter. And again, you get in really, really good FPS with this one. God of War is one of my favorite games. And I just want to showcase this scene because it's very intense when it comes to movement and fighting. And you'll see the FPS stays high. It does dip every once in a while, but it's pretty consistent at high 70s, 80 FPS here. But just want to showcase again some gameplay of God of War running on the RG Ally using AMD's frame generation here. So the next game that I want to showcase here is Cyberpunk 2077. So I have this one also set at 720p and a medium graphical preset as you've seen right here. And look at the FPS gains that we get with this one. We're seeing that 80 to 90 FPS sometimes this hits 100. Again, some people might not believe in frame generation. But guys, as you can see, this is a significant boost when it comes to the frame rate that you get. Normally, if you're playing this at 720p, you hit in 50, 60 FPS. Highs, I would say 65. But here you've seen this hit 80 90 pretty consistently so when you're playing this game on the rg ally screen at 720p it does look pretty good as well to see this one run as smooth as it's running is a win again amd frame generation is changing the game here and i'm having a good time with this even when driving the vehicle you can notice that the fps still stays high here so next game i'm going to be testing here is hogwarts legacy and as you can see here i have this one at 900p and i have a medium graphical preset throughout the gameplay here and something you notice right at the bat is just how high the FPS count is. You easily get 80 to 100 in FPS with this one. So something about this game when I play it, it stutters a lot. But I noticed with AMD Fluid Motion Frame, this one is pretty smooth. And performance wise, it's pretty consistent as well. But yeah, here you go. You do see it hiccup every once in a while. But I'm telling you guys, this is a beautiful experience. And it looks really good at 900p running the RG Ally screen. But look at the FPS count here. Look how high it's getting. Again, this is a game changer. So the next game I want to showcase here is Spider-Man Remastered. And we have this one at 720p and medium graphical setting as well. Now this one is kind of tricky because this game is very fast moving. As you guys know, trying to play fast games with AMD fluid motion frames does struggle a little bit. So you notice that this one does struggle to hit over 60 FPS, but it does do it. And you'll see me in a different location where I'm not swinging like crazy, I'm standing still, you will see it hit high 60s, get to 70s, and some even hit 80s. But yeah, as you swing around New York though, you'll see this one is having a hard time just being consistent with FPS count. But again, it does work and you'll see this go higher than 60 FPS every once in a while. So here we are in an area where we're not swinging like crazy and look at the FPS count. You've seen it hit 70, 75 and it goes to high 60s as well. So when you're not doing too much with this game, you can see the fluid motion kick in and give you that sweet, sweet high improved FPS count. But yeah, it does work for Spider-Man Remastered as well. All right, fellas, that's all we have for you guys. What are your thoughts about AMD fluid motion frames? I cannot wait for this to be official. This is definitely a game changer for the RG Ally. If you don't want to wait, we have a guide as to how you can actually test this one out for yourself right now. But yeah, I'm having a great time with this and boy, I cannot wait for it to be official. All right, fellas, let us know what your thoughts are about this. Appreciate you guys. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Until next time, peace out.